Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Yee -yee. Today we will be pressing cider, you're, as you can see. You're Farmer Dre? Oh, I, I just thought your channel like needed a new, new face or something. I'm Farmer Dre. He's, just get out of here. Today, we're in the cider room making more cider. Well, we're making apple cider vinegar but first, we got to make the cider, let it in the tank, but we'll get to the details about that. First, we got to make the apple cider, so let's get into it. So the apples aren't too bad, they're red delicious. And you got a few rotten ones in there, but we'll just go ahead and throw those out. We are making vinegar, so it doesn't really matter. But as you can see here, they're still nice and firm. Really cold, but not bad. Tastes like a red delicious, but season has been over for a while. The season has been over for a while, so we're not gonna go ahead and continue selling the apples, so. Make them into vinegar. Vinegar is a shelf stable product that we can go ahead and sell throughout the year. So let's go ahead and get into pressing the apples. So we also have some Golden Delicious here and some Jonathan's as well. These are still good apples. I mean, we could probably. Okay, this is a Fuji, and uh, this one must be good. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out here. Apples in, I mean, it'll be first of May by the time you guys see this. Today's uh, April 30th, so, I mean, it's pretty much first week of May, and we still got fresh apples. Can't beat it. Oh, this is a Braver. This is a Braver, nice and tart. I thought it was a Fuji. If it would've been a Fuji, it would've been a lot sweeter, but since it's a little, it's a little more tart, it's a Braver, and we probably have just a few on top there, but. This bin here is mainly Jonathan's, so vinegar it is. Got some wise uh, words here, Red Dew. Wise words? <laughs> Anything at the right condition will last forever, including you. There you go. There you go. Farm fresh apples. So, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching my channel since the fall, this is our cider room. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize it, get it ready to go, even though vinegar stays in the tanks and ferments. We still like to have it really clean and sanitized so that we can still have a nice clean product. Whenever we make apple cider, regular apple cider, raw cider, we gotta you know, do the patchland test and all kind of other complicated tests. We gotta test out the apples, see if they're safe. But today we're just making sure the machine and everything's sanitized. The back washer sanitizer, we're just gonna push them through there. We're gonna go ahead and store them in that big tank and add the yeast and all that good stuff. My brother, I do, he knows more in depth stuff on the vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead and get started into washing the cider room. Before we get started here, I forgot to mention we are not pasteurizing this cider. Since we want it to ferment a lot quicker than usual, then pasteurized cider, we're not gonna go ahead and put it through the pasteurizer. So that, usually the pasteurizer is our bottleneck. That's the thing that slows us down. But since we're not, we're just putting it raw in the tank, it's gonna go fast and not quick. So we have six bins left. We should be, we should press them within maybe hour, hour and a half max. So usually when I make cider, it takes a long, longer process, plus all the testings we have to do, but then we have to pasteurize it as well. But today, it's just go, go, go until the job gets done. Mm -hmm.
my job back here to collect all the bruised ones and nasty looking ones like this. Put them in a bucket because in the apple cider you do not want that. That's not good. Got my fancy gloves here, so I want the coronavirus. <laughs> Just joking. finish off the vinegar I got my brother right do he's the man in charge of the vinegar he knows what to add and whatnot so uh, we got done last night pretty late and this morning we've got we had to pick strawberries and we're doing a bunch of other stuff on the farm but we're gonna go ahead and finish off this vinegar that's more than 100 so gallons. I'm gonna yeah we don't know how many gallons you press exactly so well it's two tanks of 120 so I guess a little bit yeah just a little bit more so so we're adding a quarter teaspoon for every six gallons of cider and we're turning it to vinegar. So that's potassium metasulfite, I believe. And uh, what it's is it? on the package. So what it does, it's a sanitizer that kills the wild yeast that's now in the cider. So when you press the juice, there's natural bacteria, natural yeast that's in there. Uh, so we want to kill it, stabilize the cider before we actually add uh, a wine yeast to it and then the actual mother. So in order to stabilize it, so we're kind of like scientists here. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nothing it, close to scientists. Yeah, there's a science to everything. So. Yeah, so you got to stabilize the cider so it doesn't go crazy on us. And then we add the wine yeast and the mother. We have a ton of mother and he can show you in the other tank. And we're going to throw most of that in here. And then uh, about three week, three months from now, we should have apple cider vinegar again. Fresh apple cider vinegar. So. So he's gonna have that. I got this big old fancy stick and go ahead and mix it up nicely, make sure it's stirred. And then, are we gonna have some mother today or? No, we don't have mother till next week. Okay. So, time to get to mixing. Yeah. Get this in the air now. So I am in our warehouse now, and this is where these two vinegar tanks have been for a while. And this one right here, we went ahead and filled the, uh, we had a bunch of old apple cider we didn't sell at the farmer's market or any of our accounts. And this cider in here was pasteurized, so it's going to take a lot longer process to actually make this to vinegar. 
This one right here, the big tank, it's from 2018. The side, the apples were picked in 2018. We made it to vin vinegar in 2019, and now we are selling vinegar out of this big tank. And this one, the smaller one, we gotta add all that, all that good stuff to them here with radu. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this first tank here, how's, how and how it's looking. Like I said, we've been selling it out of here, so that's all the mother in the, in the bottom there, and it all that cloudy stuff smells smells really good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but and as I see here you got to have the the um the tank's gotta air out. So you put these cheesecloths on top there so I need some extra, so I'm gonna cut it. Just kinda of let it breathe so it doesn't mold or anything like that. So if you guys didn't cover that. Let me learn. Now like I said, this is a new this is an all new process to us. Before we would just throw out the old apple cider that we couldn't get rid of. And instead of just throwing it out, we're just continuing on the process. And we also have a bunch in those two old bourbon barrels. Those are over a year old. But those are over a year old. We're just going to let them sit in there for as long as we decide before. Well, they'll get bottled next two weeks. Yeah, so they'll be bottled in the next what? couple of weeks. Same with those. So it's just a continuous process. The only downside what? to the vinegar process, it just it just takes a long time. But for us here on our farm, it's a perfect time because, you know, during the winter, it's really slow. You know, sales are really slow, so this really helps out and kind of, you know, keeps it, keeps it moving. So... We're gonna go ahead and continue. You know, like Radu said, we're gonna go ahead and leave that tank there for another week, add the mother and all that good stuff to it. So this is just a, you know, a small little operation here we do on our farm with the vinegar. It's not too big or too small. And we just sell it at our farm stands and farm stores and at farmer's market, so. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys our packaging here. So this is just a, I don't know, I think it's a uh, 16 ounce bottle. And this is our label. Man, those lights really make it reflect. So that's our label right there, Gardner's Orchard and Bakery, apple cider made with the mother there. So this is how we sell it at Farmer's Market and any other retail store we supply to. And you know, it's made locally here in Brighton, Missouri, so you can't beat it. It's actually made in those tanks right there, but yeah, the packaging is what sells the product. Just nice clean cut with the label, beautiful. My brother Adrian, he's the one that actually designed this, so. People gotta love that apple cider vinegar, especially it's farm fresh, homegrown, all that good stuff. Alrighty y'all, this is gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I wanna say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We will see you next time.